Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed. Or I'm a nice guy who kills people simulator. We're uh, just gonna really get a bunch of flags and finish out Damascus. Or at least the poor district, rather. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Just give me the kill attack. Come on, game. What is going on? Why is it not doing the uh, combo thing? You're seeing me press the button in the top right, right? At the exact moment. Ugh. Maybe there's a lag with the controller or something. Oh, the city. Oh, man. That would be terrible because I'm supposed to be an assassin and nobody's supposed to know that I'm here, really. Actually, yeah, that really goes against everything about my Assassin's Creed, even. Well. Oh, well. Anyways. There is... Uh, I think he's up here, actually. Where is he? Oh, there he is. This is one of the newer uh, challenges that only exists on PC. Thankfully, they're not too, too hard because you basically just have to run, but they are kind of interesting and fun. Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you're looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I have nothing to offer. <laughs> but uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. Bahir might. Shouldn't be too far from here. Oh, wait, shit. What? What is it? Oh, it just wants me to get over there. Huh. I thought this was like a checkpoint race. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay, game. What the fuck was that? Altair just suddenly loses all control of his body. Oh, there's a flag. Well, apparently you were a dirty thief, so that's what you did wrong. Don't steal, kids. It's bad for your health. Especially when the guards want to kill you. Also, this is really generous. Oh, okay. Because you can really get across the city rather quickly. Come on. I'll tell you. I swear to fucking God. Just get up there. I, s I hate you so much. So they sent you, eh? An interesting choice. Though not my place to judge. The Rafiq has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Hmm. Find a way to earn their friendship. And they'll surely be of service to you. Well, there we go. Aid within the city. You mean all the things that I'm already doing? I almost wonder why those were cut from the game. I mean, like, thematically, they don't make a lot of sense most of the time, since I think you straight up get challenged to a race later. But it's rather weird. Even by just video game standards, I guess. it For them to cut it out. And I don't know why they did. Where are you? Yeah. You can't even assassinate them. It's such bullshit. As soon as you lock on to one of them. What? There we go. Wait, did they kill her? That's very rare to see. Especially since... Especially since... Usually fighting them. Oh, there we go. She reset. Just drop. Just drop. There we go. I'll get that one. That was 22. 
There's still a lot of flags. We're going to end up with 33. Can I just run? Thank you. Just let me run off. Just let me run off. Just let me run off. Oh, oh. So scowy. He's dead. Oh, fuck you, game. Can't force the combo for some reason. Also, there's another flag. Good to know. Which one is that going to be? 21? Oh, 23. Oh, there we go. The kindness is repaid. Oh, this Xbox controller just keeps disconnecting. And there's another flag. All right. So I believe that's all of the citizens to save. Oh, uh, there might be one more. We also have to go up here, though. This should be the last... Uh, one of these. That might be an interrogation down there. I think it's the interrogation target. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's talking about uh, Tamir. So he's totally the um, interrogation target. Why are you having such a hard trouble, controller? Like, for real. All right. What, there's another viewpoint? Where's the... Oh, god damn it. Alright, whatever. Oh, too far from the target. And when the battle was finished... The Saracen leader saw to it you that something? a merchant was repaid a thousand times. Wow, Tamir sounds like a great guy. Too close to begin interrogation. There we go. Hear the tale I have to tell of a merchant prince without peer. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. Alright, well, we follow him and then punch the shit out of him. I don't think you can even counter uh, during interrogation, so I don't think it matters when you do, like, with what skills you do them. I think you just have to beat the shit out of them. Although grabs come in real handy later. All right, so here's the thing. Those guys that are walking around and are like pounding their fists, they will totally come to help him later. So you can actually get into a situation where there's a bunch of people uh, fighting you. Oh, I was blocking. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop! Listen! Whoa. Not Salah ad -Din. They're for someone else. <laughs> the crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. Seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I have told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. And dead. So what actually happens to your interrogation targets. Now, that is super interesting, actually. Because he's saying that Tamir is actually producing weapons not for Salahadin, but someone else. Hey. Fucker. 
Who are you fucking pushing? I can't see because of the fucking tooltip. Like, I know how to do a strong attack. There, game. You happy? There is a strong attack. I know how to deflect. Checkpoint reached. Oh, because I actually killed the two guards that were, uh... Or hassling the citizen. All right. Well, there we go. Again, not a great thing for an assassin. There's two more citizens to save in Damascus. Oh, uh, there's one right next to the bureau. That's fine. We'll do that last. We gotta head up to the viewpoint anyway. And after this viewpoint, I think we may go on to uh, get the flags. Now, we've gotten a few of them, and this isn't really a walkthrough per se to get all of them, but I will point out where all of them are. Uh, it'll definitely be a walkthrough for the Templars at least, because I'm probably not going to find them by accident most of the time. They're usually like hanging out in back alleys and you can't really find them, but <laughs> that's not to say it's not possible. Also, I'm pretty sure there's another flag like right on top of this building. Maybe? I could have sworn there was, but... Wee! Here we go. All viewpoints in Damask. My fucking Xbox controller just hates me. I wonder if I can just set this up to use my PS4 controller, because I would enjoy it way more. No. Yeah, yeah, there is one here. Nope, I did not want to climb. I just wanted to run. There we go. Okay. So because I got that one, I can actually show off something else. Yep, and there's the save citizen. Before we do that, let's take care of the very first Templar that we're going to fight in the game. Now, the Templar is... He's right down here. Can you see him? Wait, where is he? He's not there. No, he's over here. Is that like a through fair? No, it doesn't continue on. Wow. Oh, there he is. I'm like literally trying to find him and look at him. So there's the Templar. As you can see, there's a couple of interesting things that go on with Templars. First things first. He is underneath of an overhang. You cannot assassinate him from the air. Second thing. They're hard. Like, real hard. They also sometimes protect, like, chests and stuff, which are interesting. I wonder... I wonder if I can't... No. You are wise, which is why you've come to me. I can't... I don't think I can even... You can sometimes. If you're very, very, very... Skilled with this. Get behind them and kill them. So maybe if I'm very, very careful here, you have to not spook them. So 
So if you can get up just beside them, behind them. Assassinate. There we go. You can actually get rid of them without fighting them. It's a little difficult at times. Uh, but it is one of the easier ways to deal... Can I move? It is one of the easier ways to deal with a Templar. Especially because Templars right now are extremely hard to kill. Um, we just we don't have counters, and sometimes they don't even care about counters anyway. We don't have guard breaks. We can't do a lot. So Templars right now, you got to be crafty with them a little bit. Damn it. There we go. Yep, like you and everybody else in this city. Alright, and all that's left is that one up there. It's fine with me, so... Oh, shit, they're looking for me. That's fine. Now we look at the flags. Now, I, I do remember this one being a little bit of a pain, only because Altair cannot swim for whatever reason. So, uh... Oh, God damn it, this one might actually kill me. Nope, and I can't grab onto anything, so... You know... Come on, Altair. Just come on. How did I even get down there the last time? Sometimes he will... Oh, shut your fucking face. Sometimes he will, like, latch onto certain things and jump onto them immediately. Other times he just won't. I don't think if I... I can't... Why did she walk over here? Just to see if I would fucking run into her? Well, you know what? Here. Drop your fucking pot. Bitch. Hmm. What's the best way to do this? There we go. There's actually a couple that are around here. Not on the boat specifically, but... I mean, they might as well be. Oh, now, now, the annoying thing is, if you miss with these jumps, you will just fall into the water again. Wow. And, you know, I thought the water looked really nice when this game came out, but... Man, is it ugly? Alright, next one... Should be up there. Okay. Uh, like I said, I am using a guard. This will take... See what I mean about missing the jump? Even though I was clearly facing that direction and pushing in the direction of the other pillar? Uh. Thankfully, there's no real penalty for dying. If there was, that would make this game real hard. Alright. Uh, where's the next one? I think it's up on this roof. Uh, or actually... Oh, right there. Alright, number two. Going down the list here. I think the next one is, in fact... On another boat. No? Oh, on top of that overhang. They will get a lot. Not more difficult, but annoying to spot. I'll say that. There we go. This one is on a boat, however. If you find this boring, let me know. I mean, like, I'm not entirely sure what to say when we come to this point of the game. It's sort of necessary to 100% it. Not that you get much for 100%ing this game either. All you get is full health bars. That's your only reward for doing all this tedious collectible uh, stuff. 
you get full health bars. And you don't even need all of the flags to get full health bars. You can get a certain percentage of them and you will be perfectly fine. Because each one you find counts towards uh, this imaginary counter that the game has. Wow, she threw it far. All right, then this next one. There are like actually two right up on this building here. Nothing? How about a Game Boy Advance? Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. Oh! Right on the woman with her pot. She's like, what the fuck? Alright. Actually, that was number six, but there's one right next to this. Alright, do you want to go up? He just looked at the camera like, mm. One on top of this uh, sconce looking thing. Alright, there we go. Five, six, seven. Down here. He's going to hurt himself. When he does, I won't help him. Oh, probably. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't think I'm at the place where I think this is. Alright, now it's a little bit further up, like right here. Sometimes Altair grabs onto literally everything and you hate him for it. And sometimes he grabs onto nothing and you hate him for it. It's really just a fight with these climbing. And sometimes he just randomly jumps off of roofs. Whereas every other time he has grabbed onto the ledge before. Even when you, you literally want him to jump off. Alright, so. Whatever. Let's get this. And... On top of this, there is a Templar right here. Now, can we assassinate from here? No, we cannot. So we need to go higher. <gasps> what? What's up, dude? I, uh... I do not know how he did not notice me. But... Okay. That's, um... Okay, not gonna lie, that was kind of impressive. That he just straight up didn't see me. Alright. So, from there, there's a whole cluster of them on these rooftops right here. 9, 10, and 11. Not here anymore. Alright. And these numbers are arbitrary. They're not like... You don't need to get them in any sort of order. But, uh, alright, so, I think one, two of these are inside, I think? No, only one of them is inside, and it's on the higher beams? I think it's on the higher beams. Oh, thank God you actually dropped onto the right place. Huh. Maybe it's further in? Oh, there it is. For today only. Man, sounds like a steal. All right. So there's the one inside. So there's one in an alley and on the roof of this building. So the roof's a little easier to access right over here. Now the weird thing is, is that you can't really, there you go. You have to get up on here. And on one of these domes, It should be here. Or somewhere around here. I think that's an archer guard, by the way. 
We don't usually see them, but they are here at the bazaar. You'll find everything here, my hmm. Oh, we're really far away from it. Okay, so number 10 is in here on the alley. So let's grab this one first. This one should be up here. Okay. This one should be over here. I see it. Bam, right on top. We're actually picking these up fairly quickly. I don't think we're going to be able to do the assassination in this video, but I will finish getting all of these in this video, including the Templars. There's only three Templars, thankfully, so it's not that big of a deal on that end, especially since we've already gotten two of them. All right, there we go. So the next one, we got to travel a little bit for... Right over here. I could have been looking for these while I was also doing the uh, actual quests. And if you want me to do that instead, that's fine. It'll just take more pauses while I'm actually playing the game. But I guess technically I have been through these areas once already. I just feel like when it's clear of these challenges, it's a little easier to move around. Especially because you don't really want to enact like a citizen save challenge. Uh, on top of, like, a Templar nearby. I mean, at least I generally don't. Because they do get in the way a lot. Alright, this one's in an alley, and it's the alley right here. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot less alley ones and more rooftop ones as you move on to richer areas. How the fuck do you get in that alley, though? Also, you can assassinate everybody. I forgot about that. Sup, guard? Something. I wonder what. Couldn't be that I've killed, like, 20 people in the city since I've arrived. Not at all. Oh, so it's... Down here? Usually if it's down an alley, it's fairly narrow. Hmm. Oh. And I see why. Oops. Curse me. Oh, I'm not the Christian king. Alright, there we go. But I mean, probably curse me. I'm pretty bad for this city, actually. You know, I'm surprised that... Oh, no, we're getting on the ladder. You climb ladders way quicker than you climb buildings. That's actually a good thing to uh, remember that... Altair generally climbs ladders way faster than he will ever climb the side of a building. So if you see a ladder, you can just hop right up it. Alright, there's another one right here. I wonder if I should try to assassinate every Templar. That's kind of difficult with some of the Kingdom Templars, considering you need to be riding a horse to reach them. But, I could certainly try. Alright, this one's actually going to take us near the Bureau, so I may as well do the Save Citizen while I'm there. And I know I don't have to do these in this order. In fact, I probably should have done the ones all the way on the right side of the city first. But, eh. <laughs> That's my laziness. Just totally unbound. There is a sort of line that this person like has made. Um, which I'm actually fairly impressed by. This one is also underneath of something. 
Help you. Somebody help you. Ugh, that guard is just gonna... There we go. Finally got one of those going. So, an interesting thing, actually. There's a little structure near them that I will point out. I guess I won't. It'll come more in handy later. Not so much right now. Yep. You and, like, everyone else in this city. So every citizen saved. Fantastic. There's a... Oh, oh dude. What's up? Um, hmm. I think the flag is in here. Yeah, there we go. There it is. I was looking for it, and I'm like, what? Uh-oh, curse him. Curse the one who's done this. Wherever they are. Just curse them completely. Curses. Oh, fuck. Really? You guys are searching? Ugh. Well, there you go. They'll, they'll grab a bunch of them. Really? Actually, something bad could happen real quick. All right. So there's Sarkson flag. Fantastic. He didn't get activated, did he? There is, in fact, a Templar, like, right around here. There he is. Fuck off. Oh, God. I didn't even see him, actually. All right, well, I'll tell you, aren't you supposed to be able to run and, like, not be shit? All right, well, I'd rather fight him on the rooftop than anything else. Where's the citizens that were helping me? Dead. Oh, maybe not dead. There is something we can do to deal with most of these. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Well, we're going to have to fight a Templar for once. Yeah, see, he can guard break you. And he can also throw you. Yeah, Templars hurt. Oh. Yeah, see, and that's the other thing. They can counter you. And the game's like actively telling you to run. Oh, god damn it. Now if you throw him into walls, he'll fall down. I was gonna say he'll fall down and you can get some hits on him, but he'll also just bonk his head sometimes and die. Thus why Templars are a bad idea to fight at this stage in the game because they just don't give a shit. They really don't. All right, now down here. Should be another flag. Yep, there it is. All right, we got a good bit of them. Now we move on to flag 26. Wow, yeah, we move way across the city because we've gotten quite a bit of these. So, right here? But we have all the Templars taken care of for this area, so that's nice. Alright. So, this one should be in the alley, I guess. That man seems to be in a hurry, yeah. Maybe you should, like... Totally talk to him. 
See how well that goes for you. Just thought. Whee! Oh, I can't wait for the grab ability. I need it. Need to be able to grab onto things and not goddamn die as I'm falling. You'd be surprised at how often that happens. God damn it. That's it. I'm, I'm going to figure out how to use my goddamn PS4 controller. Because I'm goddamn done with this Xbox 360 controller. Just connecting and disconnecting all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat tempted to blame it for the reason why... There's that lag for uh, the normal, like, attacks. But I can't be certain. Where is this one? Oh, it's like... Yeah, there it is. I mean, yeah, because there's a flag right here. I wonder if anybody actively wonders about, like... What is he doing, you know? Why is he running all over the place and picking up random ass flags? More than that, how does this actually make any sense sync-wise? Like, I get most of the other things. It's like things that Altair did to help him on his mission. What the fuck do the flags accomplish for Altair? No, I, I'm like, legitimately, if somebody has an answer as to what these flags meant, to the assassin order like please tell me because i'm legitimately lost as to why altair would need to pick them up oh there it is all right three more we're almost done wasn't too long of an episode too but it will also let us do a whole bunch of story stuff next time. And like only story stuff. Hey, there's that one. There we go. 29, so I need 32 and 33. And they are both actually right back here. Yeah. If anybody has any idea as to why, like the only one that would make sense to me are the kingdom flags, because I get that you would want to like pull them down. Although I can't imagine Altair being the one to do it. I guess like it's not unheard of for, you know, soldiers to pull down flags of their enemies or not even enemies in this case, just like opposed people. You got to remember that this is the time of the Crusades. So if you know anything about the Crusades, you know who the army is and why the Templars are here. I mean, they're King Richard's knights. So the kingdom flags are literally King Richard's flags. And I'll tell you, being a person who was born here and it is, you know, a part of this area, it makes sense for him to actually like you know, be a little angry of uh, people trying to take his culture, I guess is a word, way to describe it. Take his homeland. Jerusalem is a very interesting area in this game. It even feels a little magical. And we'll see that when we get to it. Did... Oh, I was looking at the wrong one on the map. I'm like, did we already get this one? Yes, yes, we did. We're missing this one. All right, so this flag is right up here. No, I just... I just want to be able to jump and, and grab. There we go. 33 flags. And that's all of the flags that we can possibly get here. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get the Masiya flags, but there are less than 33 and they're really simple to get. So that will probably be tacked on to the end of an episode. Maybe next episode. Who knows? The only thing that's left now is to actually do the assassination. So... 
we're not going to do it in this episode because it's like a involved thing and I want it to have its own specialness. And there's the fact that like, I mean, you like teleport back to Master Yaf afterwards and all this stuff. So. Last thing is actually I'm going to even save this conversation that we're going to have for next time. But I wanted to introduce, this is the Assassin's Bureau. It has no entrance from any of the sides. Like, at all. You can't actually get into this building. I, in fact, I almost want to see. I don't think it even has, like, a storefront. Like, you know, to keep appearances. I think it's, it's just literally a blank building. Does it have a door? Nope. No door at all. Whereas everything else generally actually has a door. So that's an interesting little neat uh, thing to see. Kind of hard to climb. There is a ladder that goes up here. Anyways. We'll descend inside and, uh, well, deliver everything that we've uh, found out and get our orders for assassination. See you guys then. Bye-bye. Fucking controller. <laughs>